Okay, so Cindy in a Facebook group had asked me about helping her learn how to make this in fancy fonts. And in the same thread, Victoria asked if we could see how to use Samantha font. I am telling you up front, this is something that takes me a long time. I'm sure that other people might have a faster way to do it. Um, so I apologize if I stumble around a little bit. But if I was going to make something with this much text that I wanted it in a, in a Samantha font or a really fancy font, this is how I would go about it. This would take me a really long time. So I'm actually just going to do the first line here just for the sake of you're not going to want to watch me work on this for an hour. Um, so what I think would probably look nice is do the thank you all in one, uh, like make that one object basically and then just duplicate it five times being you're using it over and over and over again. So I'm going to do that by itself and then the rest of the sentence. Um, so first things first, I'm going to do thank you. Um, I use Nexus font. This is my icon for it down here. Basically what you have to do is search for your font. You don't know, you can scroll to it if you want, but it's easier to search for it in my opinion. Um, so I'm going to do Samantha Upright. And this little thing right here is a character map. If I click on that, I get this. It's still pretty small. These are really tiny. I have heard people say that they have something that makes them bigger than this, but this is as big as I have been able to get it. So this is what I use. You come over here and click private use area. By the way, I discovered that this private use area is only here if it's a true type font. If you have the Samantha, like it says TT next to it, if it says OT next to it, this is not gonna be here and you won't have this, this whole screen is not really gonna work for you. Um, but anyway, so you go to private use area. I am going to, well first I'm going to make this whole word into Samantha. Samantha upright. Alright, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So, the first, I actually, I make this all into a path so that I can move individual letters around. So I'm going to go object to path. And now you'll see each letter is its own. So if I want to take the T out and replace it, I can do that and not affect the rest of the word. So I'm going to replace this T first. So I'm going to come over here and look for the capital T's. All the capitals are at the top. If you look over here, you'll see as I'm scrolling, you'll see me going through the letters. So when I get down to the T's, the T's are in here. There's only a few capital T's. There's that one, which actually that looks a lot like, um, what is it, Harrington? Um, that's kind of pretty. And that one is pretty too. That being we're doing thank you, that might work. So I would, if you double click on this, it shows up over here. Itty bitty bitty small. I really wish that there was a way to make that bigger. I don't think I can. No. And I'm going to try this one. See, the preview is nice and big, but in here it's real, real tiny. So we double click that. You can't really tell, but those two letters are now in here. So if I do, I do control X for cut go back over to my other screen, open up a new text box, and paste with control V. So now I have those characters. Turn those into a path. Now I have that one and I have that one. So I'm going to take this out of here. Before I move the H, let me just see if I'm going to like that. I don't personally think I like that, but this is about as much preference as it gets. You definitely do whatever you want with this. I don't really like that personally. So I'm going to undo that and put my H back and try this one. To me, I think that goes better. So I'm going to do that. I'm get rid of this one. And now the K. Let's pull the K out of there and do something pretty. So we come back over here. Go down to my lowercase letters. I'm at the K's somewhere. Here's my K. That is not my case yet. F G H I. There's the case. All right. We don't want this going that direction. We kind of want it going either under the word or over the word. So I think that that's pretty. 
that one's a little bit too high. If you have letters before it that are taller, you're going to need something a little higher like that. That's pretty, but it's really big. I'm not sure if that's going to be too big. Um, I like that one. You can try a couple of these, see what they look like. really big too. Being we're piling five of these on top of each other, I'm not sure we want it that tall. But so now I take the ones that I'm going to try. Control X, come back over here. Do object path. Now I have all three of these I can try up here. So if I do this, it's pretty but it's enormous. Stacking five of these on top of each other, you're going to start having problems. That's really pretty, I like that. It's not too tall. And that I don't really like. It's just like this big blob right in the middle. So I think we're gonna go with this one. We'll just kind of put that where it belongs. And then the Y, I'll get rid of that too. All right, let's come over here and get a Y. You can also type your word in here and just bring it over, but it's so tiny in there that I can't see it. So I generally don't do that. Um, R S T U X Y. Here's my Y's. And the Y, I'm thinking we're going to go under U. So go like that one. There's a shorter version. These ones, we're going to have the same problem. This is really pretty, but it's really tall, and you're putting five of these on top of each other, so that's probably not going to look too good. So let me try these two. Let's see what they look like. Oh, now see my font changed. Don't know why. It happens sometimes. Just go back. Change it back to Samantha. Now we have our two Ys. So if I put this one there... Kind of ends right under. You can do that, which I think is prettier. Kind of underlines the whole U. So there you go. There's thank you. Now I would put that all together, and if you do control plus plus, it's not going to work. Control plus plus. Sometimes when it doesn't work, when I when I try to union it, it doesn't work. Um, if you go to the node editor you'll see that one part of it wasn't selected for some reason. You can just select that and go on your merry way. So there's thank you. And this was for the world so sweet. And so we're gonna go for the world so. I'm gonna make sweet um, a different font. So we'll go down here and put sweet separate. I think that sweet is probably also gonna be Samantha. So I will make that Samantha for the moment. Now this, to pick what font we want for this, I would also use Nexus font. So we go back here, get out of there for a second, and I type in here, for the world so, because that's what I'm doing. And this lets you just scroll through, oops, I have Samantha selected in here. This lets you just scroll through all of your fonts and pick, I think something more upright for this would be nicer. Um, just to kind of have a little bit of a contrast between the, the Samantha. And let's see if we can find one that we like. Mm, I do not know. I have way, way, way too many fonts. <laughs> I had one in mind and I don't remember what it was now. Bear with me for one second here. Sugar. I cannot remember what it was. Ok, 
Cane litter is pretty. Um, this is pretty. Candara Italic. Okay. okay, let's try that. Let's try changing this to Candara just for something. You could definitely, obviously, pick anything you like here. I want to see. I don't like that in person. Look pretty in here. So we go back to the drawing board. That's pretty. That might be a little bit too scripty. I think I want it more upright than that. I apologize. This is taking too long. But I am so, so very picky about my fonts. Things take me forever and a day to make because... I just need to have the font exactly what I want. <laughs> um, by the way, this is a neat one in passing. Nymphet, if you don't have that, get that. It's tons of like cool little scrolly decorations and stuff. I love that one. Everybody has their own favorite fonts, of course. We are just going to make this something just for the sake of it. I think I'm going to do... Oh, this is pretty. Rasputin. Let's try that. Alright, we're going to make it that. Obviously make this significantly smaller. And you could certainly change this. If I do control plus plus it unions it together. But see, now the problem is going to be that. With this particular font, that F is going to run that over. So in the long run, I'm probably going to end up changing that. But I want to show you what I'm doing. So um, so let's go find another S for this one. Turn this into a path. Pull our S out of it. We're going to go back to our Samantha character map here. back to our private use area and we're going to find a lowercase s. Whoops, zoomed right past it there. So we want, we don't want it to zoom in the left because it's going to bump into another word. So we kind of want it to go over, either over or under. That's really pretty. That's not the right one. We'll try that one. Any that go under? I don't really see any that go underneath the word, which kind of surprises me. But we'll try this one and see what it looks like. Gotta open a new text box. Change this back to Samantha. And there's our S. Now, that's actually really pretty. I like that. So I put that in there. Control plus plus. And of course it's not going to do that again. So see, when I hit, when I try to union this, it's not doing it. It says one of the objects is not a path, but they actually are. I think one of them just isn't selected. See, this one for some reason didn't select. So if I hold shift and click it, now they're all selected. Control plus plus unions them. Now we have that. Get rid of that. So there I have, thank you for the world so sweet. I would do that line by line by line. This is going to take quite a long time to do. Um, so what I would recommend is on the first line, make sure it is exactly what you want. Like, I would change this font. I'm not particularly fond of the way that looks. So I would go and change that out to something else. But once I get that first line exactly how I want it, the thank you, I would duplicate five times with Control D and just drop them all one underneath each other and just take your time going through all of these texts. But that is the way I do it. I find my fonts on Nexus font and I use the character map for Samantha or any other fonts that have a character map. I do that in there too. And then once that was all said and done, I would go find an image that I liked for here, trace it in, and there you go. So hopefully with some help, I apologize for the long delay while I was looking at my fonts. I just have way, way, way too many of them. And uh, Cindy, I will work on this later on if I have some time. I will try to uh, 
try to do the whole thing but as you can see it's definitely going to take some time at least the way i do it <laughs> so hopefully this was a help and uh feel free to leave me comments or anything that you'd like to see me attempt on here i'd be more than happy to try it for you and uh if you subscribe to my channel you'll see any new videos i put out and i uh, hope you have a good rest of your day thanks